All right. Hey, everybody. So today I wanted to do something a little bit different. If you're watching this, we're going to talk to someone about their transformation. And um, you might know who this person is by looking at us. Sometimes we look the same. I am the angel. She is not. Um, even though I have the darker hair and she has the lighter hair. This is my mom, um, everyone. So um, her name is Elizabeth, but we call her Lulu. We call her mom. And um, I kind of wanted you to see um, her journey so far. And she's going to tell you just a little bit of her backstory. And I'm just going to, it's kind of going to be like an interview. So hopefully you guys get something from this and you can take something away. And um It'll help you in your own journey. Um, so tell us who you are, Mother. Hi, I'm Amy's mom, a.k.a. Elizabeth. Um, I live in Pennsylvania, where Amy was born, and I'm still here, um, and she's there, which isn't good sometimes. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm going to be doing a lifestyle change, and I'm excited about it. And I'm ready to get it going. Tell them what you do for your career. I am a chef instructor. I teach at a college and I also teach at a high school. Um, I primarily teach baking and pastry arts, which is all the good sweet stuff. Um, but I do jump in and help with the culinary side of it too. So I am in the food business and I am in the food kitchen. Probably 10 to 12 hours a day. Okay. So um, let's just kind of start with like your childhood, like history and with health and fitness as it kind of relates as a child. I told my mom today, I said, hey, you know, I remember being young and I don't ever remember her working out, but I remember seeing the Jane Fonda. Yes. Workouts. I remember yes. seeing them on the, on the VHS tapes, like yep. the tapes. Yeah. Um, but never saw her work out. I remember seeing Richard Simmons. I knew who he was. You know, I remember seeing him on the TV, but, um, you know, it wasn't, um, health around our house growing up wasn't really. No, no. Nothing we ever. So go no. ahead and you tell them. Well. Like um, as you growing up and then, then talk about like with my brother, my brother's Christopher, like as we grew up, like, and then till now, just kind of give them the story. Okay. Well, growing up, of course, I lived in central Pennsylvania, where we are very accustomed to Pennsylvania Dutch food. Um, Good food. Whole, whole food, I mean, soul food, comfort food, that was everyday food. Um, growing up, um, my mom was a stay-at-home mom. She cooked full big meals every day. Every day was Sunday dinner at our house. Um, and that's how I transitioned into being a parent and feeding my children as well. So I thought every day they had to have a full big meal every day of the week. And it wasn't centered or based upon, do you have your carbs? Do you have your vegetables? Do you have your fruits? You just ate good food. Um, you wanted ice cream at nighttime or you wanted a big Dagwood sandwich for snack at night, you had it. It wasn't, there was nothing about, oh, you're going to gain weight or you're going to get, you're going to be unhealthy or that's going to give you, it's going to lead to diabetes or that's going to give you high blood pressure. Nothing. That's how life is, was then. Now, what about like fitness through like um, growing up? Growing up, I used to, we had a built-in swimming pool. Um, I used to like to swim in the summer times. Um, but, you know, I, I was growing up back in the time when we didn't have video games. So I did play outside a lot. I rode bicycle a lot. So I was active when I was younger. And times were different, too. Like, you'd go down to Tracy's all the time or, you know, right. play with her and or right. Tanya. Right. And, like, it right. would, you just were outside. And then... Nan right. would call you and you'd come in for one of the she rang the dinner meal. bell yep and it was I mean in the heat of summer you were having mashed potatoes and filling and you were having gravy and beef and her blobs and yeah yep you were and well and was, too pop pop who is my grandfather 
Lulu, my mom's dad, um, he was a welder. He worked um, a lot. Right. And it, in the in heat and welding, even in the summer, I'm sure, or winter, right. I'm sure it was hot. But then he'd come home and want to eat. Yeah. He was probably pop, you know, the rest of his soul. He was having his <laughs> and peanut butter cups during the day or whatever, wherever they were, because he had yeah, a welding yeah. shop, but he also had a, like, portable weld truck that he'd go and he'd work on business or yeah. truck. Yeah. Yep. So... You know, yeah, but when he got home, it was my mom's job to make sure he was fed well and we all ate well. That was my mom's job at home. And at night, even with Nan and Pop, snackers. Yep. Yep. And it, and it didn't, it wasn't, oh, I'm, I'm going to eat an apple tonight because it's nine o'clock and I'm not going to go to bed eating donuts. It's the awareness today is incredible compared to what it was then. Right. So. Okay. Uh, when you were in, I mean, what did you do? You, you were in activities, though. You were right, you twirled right. fire batons. Yes, I did. <laughs> All right. Yes, I did march. Um, yes, I did. I used to swim. So, yeah, I was pretty active. But um, then I had a little girl. <laughs> and then the activities stopped. And then Amy mentioned the Jane Fonda workout tapes. And I do remember doing them in my little two-bedroom apartment on the second floor and the neighbors yelling at me because I was stumping on the floor. But I did do them every day. But what, was, what, what I want to point out about that is that I did the workouts, but then I still ate the pot pie and I still ate the mashed potatoes and the filling. It wasn't like it is with Beachbody. It wasn't full circle. It's, it wasn't exercise, watch your diet. And it's, you got to do it all together. It's not, you just can't do one of these things and think it's going to happen. You have to do it, it all. Exactly. And that's what I'm finding out. So let's kind of fast forward a little bit in, um, I mean, and in our house, I mean, it was every night, like I lived, I remember, remember, like I'd say to my mom, where are we having for dinner? And I was, you know, a teenager, we can just chalk it up to my teenage things going away. Yeah. But, um, I'd be ticked if it wasn't something I really wanted, <laughs> like ticked off, mad, mad. Yes. Um, so, I mean, like, like we had, like, the meatloaf lasagna. Like, it was big meals. We never just had, like, we never had, like, a grilled chicken salad. No, never, ever. Or, like, ever. yeah, anything, anything. We might have had salad with lasagna, but we never. Because that's what you do. You have salad with, like, lasagna or pasta and stuff. That's just, like. And peanut butter bread. <laughs> and peanut butter bread. Like, who eats? Think about that. <laughs> Spaghetti. All the carbs. <laughs> White bread and peanut butter on the bread. Yeah. But it's, it's what we did. It's, it's like, it yeah. is kind of amazing to still, like, if you do, I, I don't do it, but like, it's just, like, we don't know. We didn't know. No one knew. No one really knew. But um, so the reason I asked her to do this was because I wanted to show you all that, um, you know, this is something, I mean, did, do you ever remember like pop always called you rocky like mm -hmm. um we both are not like tall thin people like very more muscular like built right. and right. short very short people very short and um do you ever remember feeling conscious or self-conscious about your weight oh all the time all the time all the time yeah do, do you remember what if anything like made you feel like like did you just compare yourself to other people I think so yeah 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 to other girls my age yeah yeah right okay right. yeah I mean well I wasn't there so I mean I just know you were <laughs> getting, taking care of people behind the bank I just didn't do that hey later. <laughs> okay so um so she um when we were in when I was in it just graduated from college. You had decided, you know, enough was enough. I mean, you were always 
on the heavier side. I'm right. Right. Never. Well, I'm built like my dad. I am short and stocky. Right. And I mean, and plus then eating like that and not working out. So what did you decide to do? Well, I decided I was going to have gastric bypass surgery. And I had that the year you graduated from college because you had gotten engaged and your wedding date was set for the following year. And I wanted to lose weight. And I had a significant amount of weight to lose, not 20 pounds, not 30 pounds. I had a lot of weight to lose. So I looked into it. I had a few, um, I knew a girl that I worked with that had had the surgery and she had really good results with it. Weight loss results, not any other results, just weight loss results with it. And uh, I looked into that and that was the choice I made to have that done. And I did lose a lot of weight. I lost a lot of weight, but you have to remember, I had this done almost 12 years ago. Till 2004. It was like yes, it was. It was back when gastric bypass was relatively new. It wasn't done by the um, what do you call that? The laser surgery, I think it is. They do it. They do it. They do it now. I actually have a big, nice cut from having that surgery, and uh, you know, I didn't have a nutrition program with it. I didn't have an exercise program with it. It was just like, we're going to operate on you. You're going to lose this weight and see you later. Goodbye. Um, and I did, I did lose weight, but I was never told to exercise why I was losing all this weight. So guess what? All that weight that I lost, it just, hung, all that skin just hung on me. Hung. Um, I never changed my eating habits. Never changed. I couldn't eat as much. No, never. I could never eat as much again. But what I ate is what never changed. Right. I still ate the mashed potatoes and the filling and the gravy and the pot pie and those, everything that was high carbs. A lot. A comfort food. And you had trouble eating because they've altered your body. You had trouble eating certain things. Yes. I, I have a real hard time getting chicken down and meat products and sugar I can't even digest anymore. So that's that's a big no-no for me. But Which is hard when you have to judge <laughs> when, I have, when I have to taste 59 apple pies at the fair and, you know, I'm sick and I'm carrying around my Pepto-Bismol bottle, bottle because I have to coat my stomach to be able to do it. Right. Exactly. And then, okay, so you had this done, you lost weight, and then, and let's tell them what you like to eat. You love like you're, I'd always, I'd be like, what are you doing? Like even before any of this, Swedish fish and Cheetos. Yep. Because you I, could eat them. I could like, eat them. It, it didn't, it just went down. It didn't bother your stomach. It didn't well, do. Well, and you could crunch them up enough that it didn't make, didn't take up a lot of room in your stomach. So you could eat them. Exactly. And that's, and you know what? I don't even eat them anymore. I haven't eaten them for months. Good. That's good. Yeah. Because they're, good. they're, Mm-mm, don't I mean I was nope. sweet fish but she knows Mm-mm. anyway either one I don't, I don't eat them so processed and yeah not good for you so what's been let's let's like back up when I first started coaching of course because I was so excited and jazzed and mm-hmm. doing so well I said you have to do this too yeah well I was I one of your first ones that, mm-hmm. I, that signed up and she quit Yes, I did. She quit. She canceled her account. She said, I'm not doing this. I can't can't do it. It's way too much food. Um, I can't drink the, I can't even, I mean, it would take me all day to drink the Shakeology because of my stomach. And it was, it still is a lot of food. I'm not saying it's not because it is a lot of food, but I've learned how to spread it out over the day. And, uh, I just, I just, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to. I just didn't want to do it. And I, I mean, I, I can't say it any easier than that. I didn't want to. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And I was mad. I was, I was mad at you. I, I, know. <laughs> I as the daughter and I'm looking, you know, I have these three kids who are her grandkids and I'm thinking, why, why doesn't she see, like she sees everything that's happened. She sees Justin this she sees all the other people I'm working with but like what what what's it gonna take well 
I mean, it was because you weren't really ready. You weren't really ready to give up going to owls for pizza night. You weren't Mm -hmm. ready to, because you did, you did about, well, let's get real people. Like the, the price, I mean, you gotta pay like, you know, you were like, I don't want to pay that. And, but yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't a priority. It was not a priority to me. Right. It wasn't right. 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 So, um, that was an Anella actually, um, her question for you was, cause I told her, I said, the kids wrote some questions for you that I'm going to ask you on this. And she said, why did you quit? Why did, I why quit? did you quit? That was her, her, her question to you. Um, so then we'll just go on to Julia's question, which is what drove you to come back? Oh my. Um, a couple months ago here, I started, and I told everybody knows I'm in the pastry business, so I'm eating sugars. I have to taste my students' food. It's part of the grading process. It's it's just part of my life. And, you know, I would have all this stuff left over, and I would be bringing it home. Yes, my boyfriend's diabetic, um, but, uh, you know, he's got a big sweet tooth, and I have one, too. I mean, it's there. It's there whether I want to deny it or not. It's like laying back right now. <laughs> but, but I get sick from it. I would be, I would eat something. I had, was getting these, like, I would get, if I would eat something real sweet, I'd start getting real jittery, and I'd, like, get, like, kind of sweaty, and I'd, like, get kind of weak in the knees, and I have to sit down, and I'm like, what is going on? What is going on? So it just so happened that I had gotten some fresh peaches the other week and I thought, oh man, I'm going to make a fresh peach cobbler. What's better than a fresh peach cobbler? So I got it and I made it and I'm like, okay, well, right off the bat, I can't eat a lot of it. Maybe three, four bites and I'm full. I eat it, but then don't I put some vanilla ice cream on top of it? So I had the vanilla ice cream and the sweet peach cobbler. Oh my God, I got so sick because of the sugar. But not only that, I could hardly walk. I was leaning over the kitchen. I mean, over the kitchen sink. I was so glad somebody was in. And I got my boyfriend's diabetic blood sugar thing. And I pricked my finger real quick and tested my blood sugar. And it was 39. I was having low blood sugar. So... Um, my girlfriend came in the house, my girlfriend, Angela, and she, um, took me over to the urgent care and I talked to my old doctor that was there that had moved and she was at the, actually at this urgent care now. And she said, you have, you, have you ever heard of reactive hypoglycemia? And I'm like, no. So I'm looking it up real quick on Google and it's, um, really common for people that have had weight loss surgery. And here what it is, is you don't eat a lot of uh, sugar, but when you do, your insulin kicks in and does like double time. So it's const- it's like burning it twice as fast as it should, therefore making your sugar drop so low. And then you have to, just like somebody that's having a high uh, uh, a sugar attack you have to eat something sweet to get that sugar back up well at that point I'm so stinking sick I mean uh, sick sick so I'm like I don't like this I'm not doing it I'm not nope something's wrong something's wrong I my body fell off so I had texted Amy and I said please don't be mad please don't yell at me but I'm at the I'm at the urgent care and I'm having a low blood sugar and she did, it was a couple of minutes till she got back to me and she said, I'm not mad, I'm sad. And that really, that really, that really was a real big, that was it. And I said, okay, that's it. I have got to first start eating healthier first. And well, then I damn, said, if I would have known all that <laughs> I had to say that, I would have said it a year ago. Or two. <laughs> well, I it mean, I was, right time. everybody knows Amy and knows what a, firecracker she can be and uh I was fully expecting expecting the her voice coming through the phone screaming at me and uh it didn't she was 
upset. She was crying and she was sad. I could tell it. So, um, um, I, uh, so that's it. So I immediately, didn't I, Amy? I immediately started walking mm-hmm. and I really started watching what I was eating. Um, and asking you were, well, so if I do this or what should I look at when I'm looking at yogurts and yeah. like this stuff. And I mean, you were even like, but it says, you know, if it says low sugar, it says low fat and you right. know, you, right. Way you know these things like market to the people. Yeah, it's low fat. Yay, and people are picking it up. But well, yeah, they are taking the fat out of it, but they are hiking up the the sugars in it. Right, and I and I know that a little right. bit because of what I do for a living. I know that if I'm making something gluten free, I know that it is super high in sugar. I know that from cooking. But because you, you know the science behind a lot of these, right? Things. Right, because right. if you're taking something out, you got to replace it with something else. Believe me, something else goes up in it. I don't care who you are or what you're making. If you're taking an ingredient out that somebody can't have, you're putting something else in there to compensate for that. And and right, like what you know, we do like instead of using sugar, like real sugar, like we'll use agave nectar or we'll do honey to give it that little sweet taste and you can do that. Like you can just change it up. It's about finding different ways to have it that are healthier. Right. Um, but, right. Okay. So still, I mean, when you, you started doing this and everything and, um, you know, it, I mean, Eddie, who is, who is your, 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 your boy, um, he then, you know, our boyfriend, they, they, you know, love each other and stuff. And so, um, <laughs> You had said to me, it's really hard, and I, I've gotten this from other people too, that it's super hard to do it by yourself. Like, and you know, if it would have been me, like, I'm so lucky that I've had Justin's support through all of this. Right. There are and, some people that they don't have any support, but go ahead and say what you were going to say. Um, Eddie is a diabetic, and, uh, you know, as soon as I started doing this, he's like, hey, this is good. This is healthy. This is what I should be doing. And um, it took him no time at all to say I'm doing this too, which is great. But I want to point out that it wouldn't have mattered if he would not have done it. I was doing this. I had to do this. Mm-hmm. It was my health. I didn't want to be sick. That not getting sick like that was scary and yeah. that, was enough. that was it yeah that was it so you need to just make it you just need to make the decision that it's for you and that you're going to do it mm-hmm. and that's what it is and I always said to you you got to make yourself a priority mm-hmm. and I would get well I gotta do this and I, I mean I, you gave me all the excuses yeah I mean yep valid like I'm busy I work this I do this I'm on the line I can't be yeah right right and it's going we figure it out it's it's going to be and now you know I'm off the one job in the summertime and I have the opportunity to get myself going on it so that when I go back to the Monday through Friday job that I'm going to take stuff in the morning I'm going to make sure I have the opportunity I work in a kitchen so yes I do have the luxury that I can make food. I do. I, and I can take salad to work and I can cut it up and I can take my Shakeology mix and some fruit with it and I can make my shake at work. I do have that luxury, but I never put it towards the positive way before. I never did that and now I'm going to. Right. And when we, we talked about the cost of it, what did we, we kind of had to reverse engineer it. And we were, I was like, well, if you think about it, how much is it a day? If you think about it, how much is it a week? And you were like, right. oh, I, I go to, you know, right. big lots or Target or whatever. That. I spend that. Right. And, and I, I, I spend said, 30, 40 bucks just yep. like that. Yep. And right there is a whole week's worth of Yep, and I and I did one hundred and fifteen dollars a month. It is expensive. It, I, oh yeah, you hear one hundred and fifteen dollars, I mean, right? Yeah. And I think anybody, anybody, I know, I know my friends say it, and I'm thinking, you know what? It is a lot because it's coming out 
once a month. It's one shot to your checking account and it's out. Well, I put it to another, I've, I'm looking at it another way. I'm putting $30 back a week for it. And that's how I'm looking at it. It costs me $30 a week. I'm not thinking about it costs me $115 or $120 a month. I'm thinking about it's costing me $30 a week. And I waste $30 a week. Everybody somewhere wastes $30 a week. Not, I mean, or not waste, but they buy things they don't need or they could do without. And I need the Shakeology, so that's why it's, I'm getting it. Well, why do you think you need the Shakeology? So let's talk about the transformation. Oh, oh my Because God. before, before you were like, I'm not really, I can't really drink all of it. Like, what, what have you seen in just... Well, let everybody know you've been doing this for a little over a week and mm -hmm. you've lost six pounds already. Yeah, um, I have. So and I'm, eating, about and I'm eating more than I did then. I mean, actually, because of this weight loss, it, it is hard for me to, to eat. But now I'm eating every two hours, even if it's just an apple or it's an apple and some celery sticks with peanut butter. On, I'm eating. And before... It's nothing for me. It was nothing for me to get up at 5.30 in the morning and not eat till 3.30 in the afternoon. Nothing at all. Yep. Maybe some water because I'm busy at work. I cook. I'm teaching kids. I'm on the line. I'm working. I'm looking at food all the time. I don't even want to think about eating it. Now I am putting stuff in my mouth. And how, how does your – how does your – body feel like how does you, like because people think you know oh you know it's just there's no way you eat all that and still lose weight or or you know you're going to be so tired with working out 30 minutes a day oh no I have more energy I have absolutely have more energy um one of the things that because of my weight loss surgery that I had had um I had been told back when I had it that you are going to go you have to take vitamins. This was years, 11 years ago. You have to take a um, multi-purpose vitamin or whatever you call it, a multivitamin. Multi -vitamin. A multi-whatever. And uh, you're, you're basically a malnutrition person because you cannot eat what you need to eat every day because of the size of your stomach. Well, yes, you can. If you eat every two hours, if you eat something, I'm getting my veggies in. I'm getting my protein, my carbs. I'm getting my fruit. I am getting it in. Um, you just, for me, I have to do it every two, three. Uh, not, I don't get more than three hours without eating. Even one to two hours, I can go have a snack because just a little bit. See, I can only eat a little bit at a time. So even if it's a half an apple, if I eat it all day long, I'll get that apple in. Yeah. I can eat all day, but I'm getting it in. And, and too, like, of course, like anybody that hasn't had any altering to their bodies, like with right. weight loss surgery and stuff, we always say you need to eat every two to three hours because you don't, you want your body to consistently keep running along that highway, like at the same speed. You don't want it to go 50 and then to 40, 30, 20, back to 75, then mm -hmm. drop to 50. You got to keep fueling it. So it stays that same pace. Cause you don't want to have, you don't want those spikes. spikes and stuff. Right. And that's, I think that's one of the reasons people say so much about like it, Shakeology, they feel like, and when they're drinking that and eating right, they feel like they just have so much energy and they just feel like more clarity. And because you're not going through that, because it's giving you that stability and it's training your body to mm -hmm. eat. Now, you're eating more this week yes. than you did last week yeah. because you're working out. So your body is craving more of that and you're yes. hungry because you're burning your body's awake and it's burning. So it's like, come on, let's eat, let's burn. Yeah. yeah, like after, like if I work out in the morning, in the evening, I usually go for a walk. When I get back from my walk, I want to eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, for it, it's been a long time since I can actually sit down and say, You're actually hungry. I'm hungry, I'm hungry. <laughs> because your body was just in starvation mode. And, and we know, I've, I've learned that. You knew. It was I, the same, I was the same way. I wouldn't eat either like that all day long. And then I'd be so ravenous at night your body shuts down. It starts to already shut down. And it's just it's thinking it's in starvation mode. So it's holding on to fat. Mm -hmm. so you're not going to burn nothing. It's not going to go away. It's just going to stay there. It's even worse. Right, right. Um, 
So but back to the shake, Shakeology, um, you know, Amy had told me that it's now in the certified low glycemic index. And uh, I actually took, she had sent me a picture of the back of the bag and I took it along to my doctor because of these low blood sugars. Just to make knew, sure it was okay. Right. We always say she just knew. if there's any issues to check with your doctor. Yeah. And she knew right off the bat exactly what it was. She had said there were several nurses in the office that were doing it. And it's a very good thing, especially for people with that are diabetic because it helps level out those the sugar and keeps it from spiking high or low. And I'm low. So um Unfortunately, one of the things that has come from the surgery is that I'm um, now vitamin B12 deficient and I can't even take pills for it because of the size of my stomach. It will not absorb what I need. Um, so I have to have injections now for vitamin B12. And I think we forgot to tell them, like, you can't take a multivitamin. Mm -hmm. It does nothing for you. Mm -mm. Does, no. Nope. So, so no, the vitamin all that nutrition yeah. that she's drinking now, mm -hmm. she's actually getting. Yeah, yeah, it is. That's and that's a good thing about it. Any any vitamin that I would take, it would not absorb. And they didn't ever tell me that. And I never. I don't know if they tell people now that have had weight loss surgery that your stomach won't absorb it or not. But um, I don't well, know. I mean, you know, I mean, I had lap band surgery. You guys mm -hmm. know I if you follow my story, like, you know that I've had lap band surgery and they just said to me, go to Walmart, get anything, whatever cheapest thing you find, blah, blah, blah. Well, no, that's not really true. Like these doctors are altering your body. I did go to a nutritionist. They didn't tell me. They didn't, they don't tell you. They don't say to you, you don't want protein concentrate because it's just going to have a bunch of fillers in it. You know, you want isolate, which is what Shakeology is. And I just, it's it's the education people they don't give you the education and I don't want to say this about every doctor because I'm sure there are great doctors right. out there but like when you're messing not messing when you're changing someone's because I'll get very I get irate about this a little bit when you're changing someone's body the way they were you know formed to be born and all that kind of stuff if you're taking something away you got to figure it out just like with the food when you alter something you got to put something back in it. You got to balance it back out. So thank gosh, like we have Shakeology and people yeah. and stuff, but you know, and I explained this to you, you know, it's, it's stuff that's found all over the world. It's tested multiple, multiple times before it even comes into this country where it's made in a lab. I can go somewhere and be like, I want a fab protein shake made. And I can call that someone and they would, they'll make it. They'll make it just like that. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I mean, a little bit, some stuff. But generally, I have no idea what I'm talking about. They can make it and sell it for me and put my picture on it. Yeah. They can because that's the way it is. But that's what you, you guys just need to be, anybody that's watching this, you need to be mindful and you need to do your research. I know it stinks to do it. And I know in the world that we live in, we want a quick fix just like that. We just want it gone. Like who doesn't, right? Right. And be like a hundred pounds later. But you know, you don't have to exercise you don't have to, you don't even have wrong, wrong. Exactly. It's, it's about balance. And you said that. So let me ask you this. So even just a week transformation, what, what have you, what has transformed for you? Um, my eating habits is the biggest thing, biggest thing. Um, I do have, I'm still, my, one of my challenges is to drink more water. Um, because again, my size and my stomach, I could make a 16 ounce bottle of water in the past last all day. Now I'm trying to drink it one an hour. Yeah. I just have these goals and that's, that's what I'm doing. And what else do you like? Um, so you are working out. I am. I'm Are you still, enjoying it? I am. I am. Um, luckily, I used to like to go to Zumba. So I, a lot of the fancy footwork on that um, country heat. <laughs> um, it is fancy. I call it names, but uh, <laughs> I like but it. But you're I getting like it. it. Are you getting oh, yeah. a good workout? 
oh yeah, oh yeah, I go up the, I do it downstairs here in the basement, and I'll go upstairs, and I'm covered in sweat, and my boyfriend will look at me and say, my gosh, and that's another thing, these workouts, you watch them on TV, and you look at them, you think, ah, ah, ah that don't look too hard, ah, that don't look too hard, yeah, I'll tell you what, <laughs> you're getting a workout, in 30 <laughs> you're minutes. getting to work in 30 minutes, and you're done, it's like, you know, I don't even have to get in the car and go to Zumba class and do the Zumba for an hour and then drive home. I'm done in 30 minutes. That's the time it would take me to get there and the time it would take me to get home. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. Their, class, their classes are usually like an hour, 45 minutes, an hour. Too. An hour, yep, yep. And but you're yeah. still kicking butt. Yeah. And then it's repetitive. And what, that's what's good about it is, you know, at first it's like, oh my gosh, that one, that one step on country heat's called wonky feet. Yeah. I call it wacky feet because, <laughs> so, but you know what? I think I've done it four times now and now I'm getting wonky feet. <laughs> so yeah, you, it, you get it. You get it. Yeah. It's, you know, I, I, Today you was think. one of my coaches, and she's like, "How do I do?" I was like, "Facetime me right now, and I'll show you doing the, the on the heels and the toes and stuff." Uh -huh. like, Go heel toe when you're scooching when you're oh, doing. Oh yeah, I got other names for them too. Yeah. I do. Yeah, so ho stump and all this <laughs> stuff, and I, and I'm calling it other names, but it's okay. Yeah, I talk to Autumn. I talk to Autumn doing. too sometimes. <laughs> but it's fun. It, it is fun if you can't look at it like that and laugh at yourself then you know it's, there's something you're wrong. gonna hate it yeah exactly it's, it's then you're not ready <laughs> so let me ask you this and this is something we haven't like really talked about like so for this this month it's august mm -hmm. what are your goals for this month tell the people what your goals are my goals are to eat healthy and not get sick. Really watch my carbs. Um, that was and do you know, And you know how many carbs you're supposed to be having a day now because mm -hmm. of yep, my your container. containers yep. and everything. And yep. the containers, is it more of like, um, do you feel like it's just like strict like you can only have this amount of greens and this amount of purples or do you no. think more of it, it it's more of a teaching tool like it is for people to see this absolutely the first the first night I used those containers I was making grilled chicken salads and um I'm like all right just to get the hang of this I'm going to put this salad in this container and I'm going to put it on my plate I took two of those greens and put it on my plate, and I'm like, wow, that's a lot of salad. That's a lot of salad. And I, my boyfriend was there, and he's like, that's how you get all that. <laughs> you get all that. I said, yeah. I said, I didn't even put any vegetables on it yet either. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it was a visual thing. And he was doing the brown rice that night, and he was getting the yellow container out, and he's putting it in. And then he dumps it out on his plate. He goes, well, that's pretty much. So, and then once you get that, that eye contact with it, do you have to stand and measure everything every night? No, you do you, not. You get good at it. You, yeah, and you, even when you go out to eat, you can yep. still eat. You can yep. say, oh, you know what? That looks like that's, I'm going to take half of that. And take it home. Take it home already. Yep. 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 It's, it's not it's all it's about not education too. Like it's right. all about and knowing what your body needs and all that. Kind and of stuff. we made those we made those uh, turkey meatballs last night, and uh, I would have never made a meatball. I'm a chef. <laughs> I would have never ever made a meatball before using ground turkey. That meatball rocked. I, I now it was out of that fixate book. Yeah. Now, I, I did add some fresh garlic to it, and I did add some fresh basil to it. In Which is fine. Yeah, because they're the free herbs. You're allowed to use those. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, that meatball, I said that, I, Eddie, I said that, that meatball is probably one of the better meatballs I ever made. <laughs> yep. And it was, it was. Yep. 
Yeah. Same. And the whole wheat pasta, we had it. Um, you had the, and he does not like whole wheat pasta. He does not like it. And he's diabetic. And he really needs that. Um, but we put it over the sauce. And I'm like, you can't even tell this is whole wheat pasta when you have sauce over it. Come on. One. Yeah. And it was good. Yeah. I mean, we ate it all. <laughs> it's the most surprising thing. It's like people are thinking, hi, Vinny. People think it's not going to be good because people have in their mindset like a diet. It's restriction. It's not going to be good. Or they think That's it's not, a, a, Your diet is what you are eating. It's like not a verb. It's, it's right. what you're eating and putting right. into your body. Right, right. And, and I want to point out, I, I mean, yes, I'm going to lose weight because I'm, I'm going to. And that is a goal, but that's not my top priority goal. My top priority goal is to get healthy and to eat, eat better, to eat more rounded, not just not. It, no, that was a joke. And before would you, I mean, I, I lived to eat. <laughs> I'll live to eat, not, not they say like eat to live. Right. Because you need to eat so you can live. I live to eat. Like I woke up in the morning, I'm thinking, oh, what can I have today? I'm a dip Like it was, you know, I was watching the Kardashians and they put on that big box Pizza Hut commercial at that, which they should not allow, allow to do that because it just plays with people. And that's why we have such a obesity I'm an epidemic, but whatever, when I'm president, I'll change it. I, you know, it, it's just like, that's what I did. I lived to have all the food. I wanted all the food. No, no, no. And now it's totally changed. And now here you are. Yep, it is. It's different. I mean, I want to get, now it's, I'm getting all this variety. I'm getting the veggies and the fruit. Do you feel like your taste buds are changing too? Um, like you can actually really taste what things are really taste like. Well, um, for me though, I'm trained to do that. I'm trained to be able to taste all aspects of food. So my palate's always there like that. But um, Well, so is mine, but I'm just saying that. <laughs> I think what has changed for me is the variety of food that I'm eating, the the carbs, the veggies, the the um, fruits, the nuts. I never would just sit and eat almonds. <laughs> now right. I do now. I like yeah, because now. now you're one of the cool kids who eat yeah. almonds. <laughs> yes, I wouldn't have either. Never. That was never a snack. Oh, yeah. Little yeah. Debbie's were a snack. <laughs> exactly. Well, and two, I mean, you know, I hate fruit. Like, I used to hate fruit. Never. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, don't even look at me with a strawberry. I'm the person that never liked strawberries. And then I had them a few weeks in when I was, you know, because it was strawberry season or whatever. And I was like, wow, they tasted totally different because I had gotten all the crap out of my system. Oh, okay. And my taste buds have changed. Right. Now I'll, I'll, I'll eat watermelon. I'll eat watermelon. And I don't, I didn't even like watermelon. How about can cantaloupe? Do you eat cantaloupe? I have not ventured with that yet, but I do like canary melon. That's I, a cross. I see you do. Mm -hmm. When I was pregnant with you, I used to sit and eat a whole, a whole cantaloupe. And that's I know. Why you, don't, you that's, don't like cantaloupe. Yeah, that's probably why. <laughs> that's probably why. <laughs> but yeah. no. I do. I do like that. I'm making sure I get my carbs. I'm making sure I get my veggie. I'm eating a, real, a well balanced diet. That's what I'm doing. And you're you're just a shade over fifty, we'll say. Yeah, so, just a shade. <laughs> so you know, I mean, this is. I mean, I'm 34. So like, this it can be done at any age. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm thankful that I started now. Yeah, really. At 54, 55, like yeah. to live, live all of that. I mean, right. No, you're right. You're right. I mean, I wish we would have had the, the knowledge and the well, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> so what do you think is, has helped you the most? And then we'll, we'll be done. Well, your, your input is always, always, 
always positive for me. Did I go to school to be a health and fitness coach, nutrition, helper, motivator? Do I? No. No. Since you were in second or third grade, you wanted to be a teacher. And you know what? Um, You went to school and you did your thing in school and you got, what, your two degrees? And now she's not teaching. But yes, she is. Yes, Mm -hmm. she is. And it's I, very similar to teaching. And I told her this. I said, you're just teaching in a different way now. You're not teaching little kids how to add and subtract. You're teaching people how to be healthy. Right. And she's she, and you're still applying things that you learned in college to what you're doing. And so it's good. Oh, yeah. And I'm good. happy. Yep. Actually. Yep. Happy. Oh, my gosh. This girl, she used to cry when she'd come in from school. She hated it. She hated it. You okay. did. You hated it. I wanted to quit every day. And that was another, there was another thing fueling your food addiction. Stress. Yep. 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 And everybody, I think a lot of, gosh, I think most people relate to that. Yep. Yep. I know a lot of people do. Don't eat like they shut down, which is bad, or they overeat. And that's what I did. Either way, it's bad. And nothing filled that craving. I want, oh, I want this. I want this. I want this. I want that. When we go like five different things. Nope, that wasn't it. Let's keep on going. And the money spent, the money spent on that. Yeah. Right. And that's another thing. Shakeology takes the cravings. Like I always joke and say, I, I probably you up. put five, six, seven bakeries out of business. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm probably did. And now I'm like, I can walk right past them. Like, nah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't crave it. Like I would salivate <laughs> like a dog. <laughs> and now I don't like, I would rather have fruit. I would wa- yeah. rather have some like veggies and hummus or turkey meatballs or autumn sauce. And right. that's it. really, you know what? And I'm one too that after I eat, I want to have some, I want something sweet in my mouth. I want something sweet after I eat. Today we had these turkey veggie wraps I made with these whole wheat wraps. And I'm sitting there and you know what I have on the table now? I have a bowl of fruit there. It's got grapes in it, apples in it, oranges in it. I'm sitting there eating those grapes. And I'm like, you know what? This is like taking the place of that sweet thing. Mm-hmm. And I, we talked about that today. And you're, and you're, and I'm getting my fruit in. Like, and then there's your fruit. Yep. And even though your, yours is a little bit different than like, like how, like I would have other people eat, like it still proves that it can still be done. Mm-hmm. You can alter it just maybe a little bit. And, and it's like, it's like, well, we'll try this. We'll try that. We'll try this and, and all that kind of stuff. And I can now just. I was similarly eating like you were, but now I can just eat because I told them to take the lap band out. I said, get it out. I don't need it. And I'm still kicking butt. So it's just, you know, it's just, you know, so what would you say? What would your, what would you just like, because we should probably wrap this up because like all videos and talks I do, I've gone way over. Uh, (laughs) Yeah. And I got to go make dinner. (laughs) Yeah. So me too. Uh, uh, what would you say to anybody that's watching this that has struggled or can relate to anything you said or I said? What would you say to them? Like, and, and to like, of course, me, you're getting support from me. Of course, I'm, you know, your daughter, but like, what, where else are you getting support from? Because people are going to say, it's not going to work for me. It won't work for me. Well, I'm getting support at home. Right. But again, I'm telling you. Once you make that decision, it don't matter who's supporting you or not. It's like, it's almost challenging. Like you, you, you want to go against me, go ahead, but I'm going to, I'm going to do this. Right. It is. Um, And speaking of challenge, (laughs) what else do we do? You get a coach that's like your person that helps you individually. Oh yeah. And that's another thing, you know, since I've decided to do this again, um, I've really, you were these, these team Royal people, <laughs> you got it. You team got Royal a good, <laughs> you got a good group. You got mm-hmm. a good group here. You've got, they are right there with you. Mm-hmm. They are, they are just like right on it, like right behind you, patting you on your back. 
Mm -hmm. And that's a great thing. That is kicking in your butt if you need it. So don't say you don't have support because you got that team behind you 100%. You do. All of you. And it's not just just you. It's your, it's Allison. It's Carly doing it. It's all of them. Yeah. They're all like, you're, you're like a big unified group. Yeah, you are. are. Mm -hmm. are. And that, and so someone that doesn't have somebody at home to support them or somebody that don't, you honestly, these girls, I'm telling you, these girls are guys too. There's guys too. All right. There's guys too, but they are on it. (laughs) They're on it. Because some guys, they feel like, I don't want to, they have a wife and they don't want to listen to another a woman, you know, okay. woman. another female. But then you have, you have Justin, you have right. Carly's husband, Jimmy's right. going to help too. Like, it, right. yeah, we have guys and, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, but, I'm, I'm amazed that they are, like, it's not three days later when you need help when it's been, no, it's like, it's there. It's right there. And that, that's very helpful. And every person is different that we right. have right and like you're different than like some of my other coaches or challengers and I know a good coach knows exactly what they need like your person needs you know right. what I mean like I know that well, everybody's got it got- of this, I need to text Mandy B <laughs> see what she be doing today mm-hmm, Mandy B mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> oh yeah but she and she's the one that says you text me tomorrow because I'm, I'm, I'm doing this. You make sure. Oh yeah. It, and you do. It's, that's, it's that, that really pulls your confidence and really pushes you. It, it's just a good thing. You got a good thing going here. And uh, again, I guess if there's one thing I can tell anybody from doing things in the past, just like doing the, trying to do the beach body before I didn't, put the effort in into all of it. I mean, I didn't try to exercise. I didn't even get, I, oh, that's my ESPN. <laughs> I thought Christopher was at your house. <laughs> no, no, no. That, no, I might be getting an update on, oh, it is about Bill Ch- Belichick. It's about Bill Belichick. Stop. And Brady. People won't, <laughs> won't ask me to coach them because you're a Patriot fan. Oh, oh, no, that's not nice. <laughs> So anyway, anyway, um, what was I saying? What was I saying about, um, I didn't even open up those containers before when I had them because I'm, you know what? I'm a chef. I know what a a cup of this is and a cup of that is. And I do. And that has helped me tremendously, but it's very doable for anybody just to put it on their plate one time and measure it out. You'll know what it is the next time. It's not. It isn't rocket science, right? It's not. It's It's not. not. People think it's going to be too hard. No, no, no. But it's not, and you're eating normal things, and you're eating things that you should be, like not frozen stuff that has tons of sodium in it or like these weird shakes that just make you poop or or something Mm -hmm. that's not. I mean, we've all tried it. We've all tried it. You know, right. we all tried the quick fix. Like do something you else that has helped me is those. I've made a great big chalkboard. I put my greens, my reds, my yellows all on it, and check I put, it. I put a check it, and I, I every day it helps me. Okay, I got to get two more carbs in. Or I got three more veggies. I got to get in today, and yep. it's totally planning. Totally yeah. Yes, planning. And, that, that's like when you um, went on Sunday or Sunday when you went to the grocery store. Saturday when you were like, we're at the grocery store. We're getting our stuff. Right. Like you yes. don't walk in. And yesterday, it. yesterday, <laughs> we just went up to the grocery store to get a couple of things. And don't I just grab my autumn cookbook and I put it right in the grocery cart with us. I know. I love her. Changed my life. Love her. Well, I knew there were some things I wanted to try and I wanted to quick look it up, make sure I had all the ingredients. So I did, because, you know, I didn't have time to write the ingredients. Well, and so. you being a chef mm-hmm. and... Like it's always been in you, but you weren't before. You didn't just you didn't go to school like right out of college to be a chef. I probably have, which then she gives me all the cookbooks. Like, I mean, <laughs> 25, 30 cookbooks. Do you know what cookbook I use? And I've used almost probably every day since I've started. It'll be two years, September 26th. Well, actually, it didn't come out till the, the fall. So it's been over like a year. 
Right, right. Every day. Fixate, 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 because there is something in there. Every Italian, you want like a tortilla soup, you want Italian wedding soup, you want tomato soup and grilled cheese with the kids. Like, you have no tomato soup. <laughs> and you know what else? This company, your, your work for our hair. Um, work for <laughs> I'm really out there, Mom. Well, well, well um, I watched your summit thing last week when you were there because I really wanted to watch it. And um, they are constantly figuring out ways to get this word out about this program and that like they're doing they're gonna have this cooking show 18th whoop, whoop. I can't wait for that cooking show yeah I'm a chef but I can't wait for that cooking show but I mean that's maybe just Autumn and her mother mom. will be on maybe they'll have you on mom Ma, Amy that her they are it is their show they're going to be on it no maybe they will have you on oh okay yeah well we'll see <laughs> I have to see where he got his education. You have to see. <laughs> okay. You have to research him. What's that? You have to research him. Okay. Yeah. All right. I don't know his name. <laughs> okay. But um. Thank but you just can't do one without doing the other. It's like a puzzle. Other. All the pieces. You just, you just don't do the Shakeology and then continue to eat pot pie and. Because that. And filling yes, the mashed potatoes. You with your nutrition, but you're counteracting, like. Well. And and that's not going to be, like, and, and you know what else? A lot of times, um, like the position I'm in as a coach, I get blamed. Or it's like, the Shakeology made me gain weight. There is no way. <laughs> you're working out and eating right and drinking Shakeology, you're gaining weight. Right. That's not, that's not. Unless enough. your goal is to gain weight and you're in the bracket to gain weight and we're eating this and that and that. Well, I mean, and, and even if you're not like doing these exercises, Chase, and you're not doing the, the hardcore stuff, it, it, at least start walking. out going walking. And getting you your food make, in You have to make your body move. And, it, and it's, it's. It's drinking, food shake, it's, it's eating the sh drinking the shake, eating good food, and exercising. All those three things. If you do those three things, you're going to get healthier. And what did I say? Like, when we said about you with your, like, putting, um, like, your shake, you're just like, you were at the beginning, like, I don't know if I can get all this in. I don't know if I can. What do I say? I said, take the spinach, throw it in your shake. You'll never know. Take your fruit, throw it in. You'll yep. never know. Yeah, and I am. Yep. And that's how you're getting it in. I mean, it might take me an hour, an hour and a half to drink my shake instead of 20 minutes like you, but I'm getting it in. It's well, it. I'm, um, I'm getting it in. Also, answer this and then we should go. Um, <laughs> I have people tell me um, I want to drink my meal. I don't, I, I, or I don't want to drink my meals. Okay, well then don't. So I choose to have it for breakfast because I never ate breakfast. I hated breakfast. I couldn't do it right away in the morning. I was like, bleh, bleh. so I do it for breakfast. It's convenient too. Like the kids, Justin, the dogs who are sometimes worse than the kids, like blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. it's wonderful. It gets me going. I get that right away in the morning. Mm -hmm. Like I could have it as a snack too. Right. Um, it's not um, like people are conditioned. They're like, Oh, I don't want to drink my meal or eat. You know, I just want to chomp or this and that. It's just, it would be just like you were taking a, a pill, a vitamin. That's, that's vitamins. That's nutrition in that. Every day. Helps you poop. You don't, you don't have to put spinach in it. You don't no. have to put yogurt in it. You don't have to put. I put peanut in butter it. and a half a banana. Or that's I your, put that, peanut butter and chocolate in and I'm like rocking with a peanut butter cup. Like I think that, in Hershey land. That's, that's a totally, that's a personal preference what you want to do there. If you want to yeah. eat your spinach on a plate, eat your spinach on a plate. If you want to put it in your blender, put it in your blender. That's what makes us all unique individuals. You can do it how you want to do it. Exactly. So that's my thought back for that. But you do need to listen to your coach. <laughs> Just saying. Yes. For the record. <laughs> listen you know yes okay all right anything else you want to add or say or no it's completely doable this is doable this this yeah and stick I mean, around because we'll you know what we'll do is we'll just do these every so often and 
we can update people. This will be the longest one we do. We do promise. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No one is gonna watch this. this so long. <laughs> you you gotta watch it while you're making dinner. <laughs> Listen to it. Personal development for any coaches out there. There you go. Professional development, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. PD. <laughs> All right. All right. Hey, I got to go. go make my turkey. All right. See ya. All right. Love you. Bye. Bye. Love you. <laughs>